Hello everyone! In this video, I'll show you a cool do-it-yourself project you can make using the button from a broken screwdriver. First, you need to desolder all the wires that go to the button. There is a metal plate on the button that you need to remove by unscrewing one screw. After that, you can easily open the button using a knife. Inside the button, there is a circuit board. Desolder the contacts from it and remove it from the case. Now you need to solder wires to the contacts on the board that were connected to the battery and to the motor contacts. On the reverse side of the board, there are contacts along which the button moved. You need to solder a 20 comb variable resistor to them. All the wires to the board, this is what you should get. Now you need to attach the heatsink to the transistor, which was attached to the button's case. For now, set the board aside and take a small box in which you need to drill holes as shown in the video. Into the holes you've made, insert two connectors on the side. Also insert one connector at the top of the box. Next to this connector, insert the LED and secure it with hot glue. And in the last hole, insert the variable resistor that's soldered to the board. Next, you need to solder wires from the board to the connectors. The output is soldered to the side connectors, meaning the contacts go to the motor. The wires that went to the screwdriver's battery are soldered to the top connector. The LED is also soldered to it. But only through a 1 kiloom resistor. We placed the board and closed the cover. We put the knob on the variable resistor and the do-it-yourself project is finished. Now we connect the wires with clamps to the output and supply 12 volts to the input. We connect some kind of load to the clamps, for example, a 12 volt light bulb. And now by turning the knob we can adjust its brightness. As you can see, this is a homemade device for adjusting power. It works great and can handle high currents up to about 20 amps. You can also use this device to control the speed of a motor. As you can see, everything works perfectly. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell. Thanks for watching, goodbye all.